I think I'll, just like generic like gunshot yeah. noises. It's like like this is an M16 and this is an AK. It's like okay, well, what about like 50 meters, 100 meters? I th- th- think you know, a lot through. of those are. Uh, I think I don't know. I, I don't know if Hunt does that, but I'm pretty sure that's just processing of the sound. I don't think they change it. Um. Oh, and Hunt. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I don't think they have multiple sound effects. I think they process the sounds. I'm pretty sure they do, but I could be wrong. I didn't think they did. I think it's just a good processing engine. Hmm. But I'm not sure. I'd have to look into that again. I guess that's possible, yeah. That's what Arma does. Other games, a lot of games do that now. Oh, is this stream? Arma on? actually is specific sound effects, if I'm not mistaken. No, with uh, with JSRS at least. They have uh, a lot of the reverb and stuff. So they actually have a, the echoing and all that is dynamic, I mean, being indoors and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually 90% positive on that. So there, it's, it's possible, I'm saying. Possible. I'll have to look into that, though. Let's all just right, pay Lord Jarhead 10 grand. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. All right, this song's a little loud. Turn that down. And then, and then he says, I actually work for Bohemian Interactive and sues us. <laughs> good. Well, you could work for Brohemia inter- Interaction. <laughs> Brohemia Interaction, yeah, there you go. I need to change this here. Have this on there. Aha. Catch the music now. What the fuck is a WY's project? It's telling me to import it into uh, Unity, but it's, it's corrupted. It's only two years old. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna Google it. Let's see. The WY streamlines your interactive audio projects with its comprehensive interactive audio pipeline. All right, hello everyone. Means. Well, from the future, I am. Some some interactive coding media here. and video games available for free to non-commercial users. Oh, and under license for commercial video games. Ah. Gotta find this video I was using to learn. So you need a commercial license? Use it. Fuck that. name so my lobby name and let's go ahead and make it public and it created and if there you go that one did update so we now see it on the list and now if I click on it if there you go okay I'm trying to make a multiplayer menu right now, and I'm trying to learn how I do that. I'm going to go ahead and... Click on lobby button. Doesn't load me in. Um, okay.
button. That the template needs to have a listener, but maybe it doesn't. Um, hi Astro Cat. <laughs> How you doing tonight? That you, yeah, I like your project you were showing me. That's nice, man. Was that in Java? You did all that in? There's two update lobby lists in here. Why? Lobby list. Oh, yeah. This is what's supposed to be executing. Clicked on. Go ahead and compile a build so I can test this. Oh, Game Maker Studio, that's right. It has a unique language called GML and also a visual code language as well. Oh! GML is like JavaScript. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. Did you do the pixel art yourself and everything? That's pretty nice. Pretty good. Dot lobby. Lobby. Lobby name text. Lobby name. Ah. Here we go. This plugin, Dear Reality, looks pretty good actually. Okay. It'll like create echoes, like if you're in like a, in a what, large room and stuff like that. It does, does it dynamically. Oh, that's that cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, pixel art is like, like a lot of people don't understand how hard pixel art actually is. Can you post that? Yeah, hang in. Pixel art is incredibly difficult. I see that. Your reality, cool. Does this not work? Um, so this is actually in clicked on. Join with ID. I think we need a debug lobby ID, maybe. That. Let's see. Click done. That's a simple environment, though, so I'd have to see more. Because I'll be really impressed if it does like a simulation of sounds bouncing off of walls and stuff. That's that would be really cool. Good. That's what I would like to utilize. Not so I don't want to just go with a sound system. It has to be very good. It 
is tremendous. Underrated end games. Yeah, so I'm working on. I'm focusing on the netcode right now. This is a client version of it. But yeah, I want to make a game. Okay, they got a shit ton of videos for this. That's good. Oh, I want to make a game that's kind of like uh, Arma in some ways. I'm working on just fun, fun things right now, construction physics and all that stuff. But right now, I'm just trying to get the, the net code working. It's like this is like drywall, and so it, it breaks in a different manner, and it runs really efficiently. Like it, this is not difficult to run. That's oh, a lot of fun. I can make it so like it collapses even and everything, but I haven't quite done that yet. This is supposed to be like in a wall. You can have floating pieces. Not perfect, but it's fun. You want to hit both? <laughs> it is a lot of fun. But what I'm doing right now is trying to just see why this lobby. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Is I used to work a lot with AI, and so I want to create a game that's like Arma. It's not going to have the same graphics because I don't have that capability. But I want it to have more depth to it, not complexity necessarily. Oh, see that worked. Only the ID is that the right ID? Oh, here we go. This is a much better demo. Oh, I think we need to change it to lobby. Demo. Lobby, not ID, but lobby code. Actually being used in a game demo. Ooh, okay. It's using lobby ID. Can I use lobby code instead? Is that what the issue is? Uh, Join with ID here. I think we need to change it to ID. It's not the best demo though. That lobby. Lobby. The code? Lobby code maybe? I see, okay. Yeah, it's using lobby ID, we should be joining with uh Do we still have that code here? We do have ID still here. So it's seven years old, fuck. This is running, so it does run the this is joined with ID the lobby dot ID. Yeah. So then this should be launching to here with ID. Try. Let's try that. Let's go and recompile this. Who cares about graphics? <laughs> A lot of people do, um, but I think as long as you know, if I make a game like this and release it, like it's, it, I know it's not going to be like a 
multi-million dollar thing. It's just for a group of people who want more. And an Arma game that is made for the people, not managed by a company, doesn't know what they're doing anymore. And has the depth and things that people want out of an Arma game without all the, the BS and better netcode. From 10 miles away, I still do the tell me, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like, stuff like that would be so nice to, to code in. I think one of the advantages of a smaller dev team is that the community gets to have a lot more of a... I don't know, just of a say what happens in the game. Like with Bohemia, no one has any say in really what happens, really. I don't know, that Bohemia, I still... I, I don't want to get grumpy and turn this into a negative thing, but I... Swish Bohemia was still as in touch with the community as it used to be way back, you know, years ago. I mean, companies change. Doesn't listen to the lobby anymore. Let me go ahead and start this. You think it's a feature in that's right. Server can spawn network objects. All right. That's good. Okay. So this is this basic UI. Ignore this UI. It's going to look much better, but I'm just trying to get the functionality in. I'm going to be using Unity's relay system. Unity's relay system is really freaking cool. And it can, you can also use dedicated servers along with it, but Unity Relay is really cool. A relay server is like a it's like a temporary dedicated server. So like if you're playing this game and you want to host a lobby, Instead of having to mess with ports and IPs and all that, you just go tell the game, I want to host a server with my friends, and it will create a temporary server for you that everyone connects to. So it helps with latency, it helps with so much shit. It's nice. So I got the animation I'll, sh I'll show you. What we have here... Launch. This is this right here is the built version of the game. I mean, it's not much of a game. This is just a tech demo. And so have, you can set your name here. This would pull your Steam account, or you can change it wherever you wanted up here. It remembers it. Yep, yep, yep. I think I got it. Like, Yay! There too. And Thank then you. I'm going to have this one create a lobby. And then you're going to sink the balls. Yeah, well, I want to get the relay system in first. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that going to be a pain in the ass to get in? It's actually easier in the lobby system, but it'll take me a minute. Really? Yeah. Then I'm going to do test server, and then you do create public. And then here it be. Some netcode stuff i got to figure out, but there's that character there. And then I can come in here, and here it's listed, and I can just click on it. It's crazy how fast and you do this shit. <laughs> there's an error because i got to generate some kind of network prefab. The, the orb, the balls are causing errors, but yeah, that's it. That's working. So now I just need to get relay in. Ooh. And I'm not like doing this from memory. Like I have this video I've been following, but the relay is next here. And the, so this is the lobby section you see along. This is for tutorial on how to set it up. Ooh. It's literally it itself is like this whole video is five hours long. Damn. Six hour long video. Sheesh. And this lobby system itself is an hour and a half. And then the relay is like 10, 20 minutes. So, much easier. 
Jesus. It's not, like, it's not like I'm doing this enough in my fucking memory. Game. No way in hell. Like Joe, we're going to set up our project to use Unity Realm. This is how we can make our game easy to play by not requiring the players to handle anything to do with port forwarding or firewalls. By using this, we can easily connect any two players anywhere in the world, and it all works seamlessly under the hood. You know, I love multiplayer Astro. Like, I understand the locality stuff in multiplayer really well. Like, I understand how it works, and I love that puzzle. Like, okay, here's something cool. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nerd out for a second. So, when you're doing multiplayer, uh, what you want to do is, let's pretend there's a player, you have a player here, and in single player, this is a single player, so in single player, you have, he, he's got a gun. YouTube was showing your stream that you were streaming, and now it's saying that you're not streaming. But then when I looked on your channel, it says oh, that it? you're live. It's it only shows live. When I, it only oh, says when I'm looking at your channel. Not, it doesn't show you on my subscribers list like the live <laughs> thing weird. anymore. It's okay. I'm talking to this one guy, Astrocat, in chat. Mm. He stalks me. Oh, that explains why you're yeah. being so quiet, got it. Yeah, well, I don't think you want to hear me talking to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Okay. no. laughs> I was just wondering why you were so focused. I'm super focused. It helps me focus, dude. This one guy's Good gonna work. help me make a game by just chatting with me. Great. Good work. Astro is a, a dev tags. Astro is a dev. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep, 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 yep. Okay, so. In a single player, you have. <laughs> Astro goes, wow. <laughs> you have a guy who, who. You want him to shoot at a gun. So you can have a bullet spawn. And you just tell the game engine to, it's called instantiate, but we tell it to just create a bullet. The bullet gets created, and then you can have this bullet be a lot of ways. I know, a, showing you again. Raycast, a velocity, or real physics objects. So I like physics objects for the simulation aspect. And then you just tell it to go on, so and you're done. So single player is you create it, you tell it what to do, you're done. What you want to do for multiplayer is a player tells a server, this is the server, I would like to shoot a bullet. At the same time, at the same time, the player on his own machine creates a bullet, just like a single player, and shoots it. And then, at the other th in sequence, usually with like a little slight delay, the sequence, the server tells all the other clients to create a bullet at that exact position and give it the same velocity. So every other person's computer, this is our computers here, Everyone else's computer, what they do, and this is the most efficient way to do this, is the server goes, Hey guys, I need you to create a bullet at this position going this direction, this velocity, and they all will create that bullet on their own machine. This creates smooth simulation for the bullets. And this is how I'm going to do it for this game. So that all the bullets and rounds look are simulated the exact same. There, there's going to be some minor differences, but it's not going to be enough to make a big difference in a game like this. So. It's like multiplayer stuff like that I love. So there's a lot more like when you even shoot a single bullet in a game, you are literally... The server has to tell everyone else to create that bullet. Which is awesome. But if you have just one guy create the bullet and try to sink across the network, it opens you up to a lot more abuse and other issues. But anyway. Okay, so here on Let's Implement the Relay, which is actually pretty easy. But before we do that, let's actually fix one thing that I forgot in the previous lecture. If we are playing the game and over here, let's create a lobby. And then I just go into ready and go into the game state. And nope, over here we have an error. It's a missing reference exception. And yep, it's right here on the lobby UI script for updating the lobby list. Once again, the issue is the same that we already saw, which is because of the listeners. Basically, this object is destroyed, but the kitchen game lobby, that one continues. So let's clean up the event. So let's do private void on destroy. And when this object is destroyed, let's make sure to unsubscribe from these events. So for this one, do minus equals. Okay, great. Also, yeah, the other one yeah, where it's these fun. Events was it's on fun to, to learn. I like all that stuff. Message UI. We are listening to a whole bunch of messages. So let's also unsubscribe from these. We're already unsubscribing to that one. So let's just unsub from all of these. So oh. Really? Oh, you know, they didn't do that here. Just do. We're already unsubscribing to that one, so let's just messages. So let's. 
It's over here on the 11th. Mess the GY, we are listening to a whole bunch of messages. So let's also unsubscribe from these. We're on phones on all. Although, as he was still trying to update the refresh script, let's roll down to where we are handling. When we go into the actual game, when we do that, we're actually destroying the lobby, so this one becomes null. So that is why on the game scene, this one is still running, but we don't want that. So let's make sure this one only runs if we are on the lobby scene. So super simple, let's just add scene manager. Let's get the active scene and let's compare the name and let's compare with the unloader.scene and we only want to run this on the unlobby scene. Okay, so just like this, we only want to list lobbies if we are on the unlobby scene. So let's test. Let's hit on play. Let's create the public lobby. Let's go as ready and go into the game and now play. And yep, now I have a dedicated pretty much everything that also covers watch that if you want. Although the relay is super simple, so here I will cover pretty much everything that I also covered in that video. If in the future you forget how relay works, you can either come back to this lecture or just watch a standalone video. First thing we need is just install the package, so let's go to the usual package manager. I have this. On the empty registry, under all, let's wait for it to fetch, and now let's find the relay package. I so here it is, the relay, currently version 105. Let's go ahead and install. Alright, the package was... The nice thing about the relay service as well, I don't know if I told you this or not, but it allows you, it automatically has servers from around the world that it will, it'll automatically find what's the best server for the people connecting or the host and start a server there instead. So you don't have to, it helps a lot for just like players picking up a game who don't want it dedicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I, really I love cool. that. I love yeah. that it has the support for both. You can get it get dedicated or you yep. can just fucking relay it. It's just so cool. I guess I mean, big dude, brain. Unity does not give enough credit for that. Or get enough credit. That is mm -hmm. really cool. Was it so? Now we need to use it. So just like we did with the lobby, and let's go onto the Unity dashboard. Oh, got a little bit Unity dashboard. Is there a bandwidth limit? Uh, I load up the dashboard and show you. There is not like a bandwidth limit per se. Cause that might be a problem with, with mod compat mod compatibility. If you have people with giant fucking mods on their servers, you know, yeah, seven hundred well, mods. Nice thing is, we, you would be using Steam for that. Steam does not have a bandwidth limit. Mm. So if we if we have mods for a game, you, you gotta use the Steam Workshop integration. Yeah, I would one hundred percent be on board with that for sure. Because then you don't. Have to That's a no brainer. That. Yeah, because you can just just have all it. the Steam APIs is connected. Yep. 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 Have it so you can see your hours, you can see your achievements, you can see all that stupid shit, you know, uh, your, your work, Steam Workshop, and you, can put, all, you create your own mods, project. missions, and whatever. Let's go let's go into Relay, and let's go ahead and set up the Relay, link the Unity project, we already did that, so next, install the package, we did, and let's go ahead and set up the Relay. That guy has crazy looking teeth. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Is that a guy? Yeah, I think so. I don't even know what the fuck. It's a whatever. Um, oh, here's the here's the get started button. I already did that. That. Hey. Um. Uh, so here we go. So I think relay. There we are. Oh, oh, we're not using it, so it doesn't have any, any data to display. But you can see how much you're using with and all that but there is um i don't remember exactly how it works essentially once you hit a certain amount it's not like bandwidth per se it's like it just i guess it would translate to bandwidth just amount of usage a like a month then you have to start getting paying money but it's a mm. lot yeah 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 it's a lot like if you release the game essentially the way it worked out is like if you release the game for free like you're in trouble if it catches on Oh yeah, as, no, long, no. as long as you're getting paid, you'll find the game. Or... Hmm. Unity really encourages you to use some form of monetization, but I don't even know if a game like this, I don't think I'd want to or know how to, or what would be best. That's not annoying as hell. Besides, like just releasing, this is where I think Arma went wrong. But he went wrong. Like I honestly believe they could have made so much more money steadily with our community if they just kept releasing weapon pack after weapon pack after vehicle pack after feature pack like i mean so yeah. many games i'm not saying it's a good idea 
But like so many games, like so many simulator games have thousands of dollars worth of DLC. Well, the it's most like... absurd thing I can't understand or even begin to wrap my mind around is why in the living fucking shit did they not add any DLCs that added like M4s, M16s? I know! Apex added an AK-47 and then they added like fake fucking like HK-17s or some shit. Or 16s, whatever the fuck they were. It is really like, weird. And actual stop adding. They're like so fixated on this prototype I shit. Like, I you know. know. Well, they didn't even do good prototypes, fun prototypes. No, shit. yeah, like, it's, it's like all a, boring stuff. Stuff like, that was like not even no one even knew about. That's like no, was, like no chance of it ever becoming an actual yeah. thing, like the MX. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's okay. Nate to gonna make that, that the fucking yeah, right. Like, yeah, come on. It's like it's okay to have that stuff, but like. It needs to be in the background, or like, you know, like it needs to feel like a prototype in the game. I don't know. That's what I was trying to say, like, I don't mind, that's why I do Modern Era, because you, most of the weapons you become against you anyway would be old Cold War ship. And you're gonna run into that. There's AKs all around the world. If you're never. <laughs> like, Those things are old. M5 is all over the world. Like, there's a lot of weird decision making, like the Merkava is the fucking NATO tank. It makes no sense. And then I think it. maybe it's because CSAT was Iran, so, so you make putting game, Israel against Iran, I don't even know. As soon as we lobbies, like Iranian up. tech versus That's Israeli, I, I don't know. So CSAT was China, I thought. I no, guess. CSAT is Iranian. No, not Iran. Yeah. Yeah. No. China, China was a different faction. CSAT? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, they're, some, they're Chinese. They spoke fucking, uh, they didn't speak they're, Cantonese. They're, no, that's, yeah. a, that's a different one. There's a, there's a... Belarus, China, and Iran. They had Iran in them, but they're mostly Chinese. That's why they speak, uh, starts with a P. No. Not Farsi. Is it Farsi that they speak? It's the fucking Iranians. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive. That's why they look like, that's why they're brown when you put them down in the editor. They're brown dudes. They're not fucking Chinese. They have a new in one. I think since Apex, they started speaking Chinese. Oh but yeah, they're Iranian. Farsi, that was it. Yeah, yeah Iranian. Farsi. Yeah. Andrew. Oh shit. Chinese <laughs> don't speak Chinese. Uh, Astro says the C and C set literally stands for Canton. The oh, fuck. Yeah, I actually don't know what CSAT stands for. I didn't even know that. I just always thought, oh, because <laughs> oh, it's part of the uh, Chinese Alliance Treaty. Ow. Canton uh, Protocol Strategy Alliance Treaty, Chinese. Yeah, okay. All the soldiers are like Iranian dudes with beards, so I mean, I just. It makes sense yeah, to me. I never but... even thought about that. <laughs> it's just like dudes with guns. <laughs> I was like, alright. <laughs> With with bug helmets, yeah. It was bug it's helmets. It's so dumb. It with, is with, so like, dumb. Yeah. With like a fucking astronaut uniform, the fucking and like oxygen tubes in the back, like oh my god, that how is, retarded. That is true. Anyway, god forbid we get started talking about Oops. fucking armor and the retarded decisions of that game again. Uh, I can talk about armor forever. Talk about armor forever. Because I yeah. love the game so much, and I'm just seeing yep. it for years slowly go into this decline of. Just mediocre. Just continuously make bad decisions over, and it's like, why? This the easy decisions are so obvious and easy mm -hmm. to make. It, it wouldn't even cost <laughs> them anything. That's crazy as fuck. I remember the old. They meme. already have it done. The old meme I liked in the day. Uh, yeah, that's true. This in the day for Arma was like, hey guys, you want to release a new weapon pack or anything interesting, like a new mechanic, the UAV pack or satellite pack or anything interesting that'd be cool to add to your modern game. Like, what if we added alien content? Okay, are you gonna like put in actual aliens? No. <laughs> it's like okay. Mm, it's so dumb. <laughs> yeah, that. And... I'd pay sixty dollars for cup to be an actual oh uh, official DLC. That's right. So that's what I thought. I, well, I thought I thought we'd put up armor to double check that. Astro was saying CSAT in the base game is Iranian, but in Apex DLC they're Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, they had the Viper guys. Those are the Chinese people. So we need to allocate yeah, the relay sense. before we start the host. The whole so story is retarded. Let's make a function to allocate the relay. So a private point. Let's call it allocate relay. Although I never actually played the campaign, but yeah. Campaign, it makes sense. But the campaign I heard is actually not bad. I just never played it. I never really got armor to play. That stuff. 
I think I tried playing with mods and the mods broke and I was like, fuck this. I ain't playing in vanilla. Ain't happening. I would get messages about that all the time about VCOM. Like, if VCOM broke the campaign, I was like, man, who shit was made for it? <laughs> And now inside here, uh, we are going to go inside the Relay service. Also, by the way, sometimes Visual Studio might not update, so just go ahead, close it, and let's reopen it again. Yep, that's exactly why I don't and release here, shit on Steam. Relay service. Or at least my missions, because there's so many, there are issues with it, and people are just going to have like an endless list of mod, compa mod compatibility requests or yeah. complaints. It's like, ah, fuck them. We had fun playing it, and that's it. Yeah. Everyone else can go suck a cock. <laughs> They're just gonna bitch anyway. Yeah, the armor community got pretty bad after a while. Mining, yeah. I don't remember oh, being that as bad in armor 2. No, it wasn't. That was a daisy that I think I remember hearing like daisy. I mean, daisy's what got me into armor, but supposedly it attracted a lot of retards. Let's reopen it again. I didn't give a fuck about the performance. I had like 15 FPS when I, my first tried playing on my one of my <laughs> like three computers ago, and uh, I I was blown away by like, the scale of the game and the amount of features in it. I didn't give a fuck how bad it ran. I I still think number two like warfare. Number one warfare was the best. Or was it Armor 1 Warfare Gold I yeah. loved? Uh, Armor 1 probably was the last good one. Kinda crazy how they couldn't- no one could mod their own Capture the Island to be as good as that. With a better- <laughs> more script commands and everything. Still couldn't do it. Something so simple. I think it just got oversaturated with people obsessed with all this life or whatever and zombie shit. Connections. So in our Control game, we sucked. Find I didn't like that players, at all. So let's go into the kitchen game. You go to an, uh, do an operation, you spend fucking 40 minutes getting to the, uh, to the AO, and then there's like two guys to kill. There's so, 12 of you. I remember that. Two. I remember that. Yeah. I, was like, I don't remember what game mode that was, but I was like, this is odd. I think I remember Prime was like, talking it up or maybe we we're just trying it out because that's what was popular at the time so we gave it a shot and i was like this is what everyone's fucking hyped about there's like 30 people on the server we go into the, uh, the ao and there's like one guy to kill there's okay. no civilians in a town you gotta search all the fucking building 130 fucking buildings for a guy in a ghost town i was like this is so stupid the, the yeah this the, is better than my mission okay good to know that is true Astro i mean Cat. that's the reality the... it's like how i have to look at it because it's like you know this this is what blew up this is why everyone's playing. They're not playing my shit. I'm the asshole, really. <laughs> You're the asshole. Yeah. This guy puts down one fucking guy, and it's the most popular mission in the goddamn fucking game. I make, I spend watch. years working on a mission. Fucking, I'd be lucky to get two people to connect. Yeah, the um, EW stuff from Contact was really cool. I actually used that in as like a zombie mission or something I made for fun. I did enjoy it. And I, yeah, that's what I want to add too. Electronic warfare stuff is fun. Like, I want to add that to my game. Yeah, I, I and I used to play the standalone Daisy stuff. Oh, like how much more game design do I got to do? It was a lot of fun. I used to really like Daisy, then it moved to standalone. I was also disappointed. It's too complex, too broad of a game mode, I guess. People, oh. the, the average human brain can't handle uh, more than killing a guy. I think, uh,. The biggest thing for Arma for me that held it back, why like the dissension why I eventually stopped was just the engine couldn't handle it. Like you couldn't have complex. You just, you just couldn't have complex uh, uh, like simulations in Arma without it so grinding to a halt. And then yeah, later, and later on, yeah, but my issue is just that in the beginning, no one wanted to fucking play it. My missions just sucked. I guess I don't know. I mean, it's just, sometimes you just, it's just like you release a game on Steam, it could be the best game, but it doesn't matter if, you, if people may not play it. it. wasn't, I don't even think my mission was really a niche mission. Like, Tag Sand Insurgency, you're just killing fucking bad guys. You, you 
question civilians, kill bad guys, blow up caches. You're still killing everyone, for the most part. There's a lot of guys- I made sure there's a shit ton of enemies to kill in every AO. But I think... Instead of region, uh, or, or the really itself. I think it's too much region, freedom so much for the average inside. armor player. Okay, so this one is they need guidance. Well, it, Go to point A, kill, yeah. kill do, do good, things. Good game design is like that. You need something where it's like, yeah. And that's too much I, freedom, and they just fucking give up immediately. Well, you, I you, like games like that, but. You most need to tell them, yeah. Like, any game you make, like if, our, if you make a game like that or whatever, you need to have, like, this is what you need to do, this is the objective. Mm -hmm. You, know, you, you have like essentially an AI commander, quote unquote. I'm not saying we do that and it's like that, but mm -hmm. some, someone who's like, you can even disable it. It's like it's like the this, this shit in like Back for Blood or any game I've been playing recently. They have this big thing and it pops on your screen and it's like, this is what you need to do. And you go, oh, yeah. okay. And you can have more experienced players can disable it, but a lot of players so who are brand new really need so that. Is this one inside UNP services really model? Definitely, yeah. So this because players do when they feel, I mean, they feel lost, they, they just they 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 definitely will not learn. My okay, issue is so that I bank on people really? reading, you know, and just people like with will not read. Even if it's nope. one sentence, you can't, <laughs> you can't, can't expect read them to read. So no, yeah. No, you can't expect people to read. Really I and mean, you can't, like, prevent all stupidity, but... Right, right. But, but there is definitely, like, in hindsight, I did actually take notes that I was going to eventually have a much more streamlined instruction. Like, when you connect to the server, it would be a quick, like, fucking... 30 seconds of instruction of what this yeah. game mode is, what you need to do, here's where you get the fucking weapons and vehicles, this is the base, and that's that. And I Go think crazy. that's what made Ascension slightly okay in the community, is because like, you connected, it was so obvious what you needed to do. That tent right there is green. Go go kill it. Uh, you just would go. And it was like right in your face. You know, really, it was usually the town you spawned in your fighting. Like it was right there. Yeah. And, you know, it's. But if it was any more open, <laughs> people would just immediately disconnect. Yep. That's why I had. That's why I made it. Like, if, if you don't remember, I made it. So when you loaded in, you'd immediately go into the arsenal, because people couldn't hit M and go to the barracks and yeah. find. And I had. That's why I added 3D floating text, because yeah, people would yeah. literally walk right by a supply crate and go, "I don't know what to do." It's like, right, right, <laughs> it's like, right. Like, dude, yeah. come on. But yeah. And I had that issue even in myself in Reforger. Like I loaded in, I was like, "How do I get a kit?" And it was like a hidden crate in one of the areas. It'd right. go, I'd walk up to is a crate just like a bunch of other crates, but this one had stuff in it. <laughs> it's like <Ooh>. okay. <laughs> so, Bohemia doesn't even know their own game. Async, we must yeah. return something to oh. task. Now this has nothing yeah, to we do were, with the Yeah, we were. We talked and ad nauseum about how so out of C how disconnected uh, their task, current devs and uh, leadership see, is right now. Oh, leadership is totally insane. Yeah. That's the real problem, I think. I think their devs, like the artists, are very good. For example. Oh yeah. I think yeah, the devs themselves are, are fine, but the programmers are fine. But it's the leadership, I think, is awful. Yeah. Like there's certain decisions they make. Every time you make something, any proof they go and invent a new idiot. Actually, that's so true. No, the, the uh, SRG guys were different. That's not even fucking Bohemia. Yeah, no, SOC guys are just a third party. Like, they were smart see, they for paying, uh, I'm assuming they, they paid uh, Lord Joy Head to fucking do all their sounds. So like, that was big brain, very good decision. I don't know, and <laughs> and yet it's hilarious that they don't get him to do uh, all the Forger sounds. Or maybe they did, I don't know. I could be just talking out of my ass, but... I don't know enough, but... In case we they have should, because he's... Really good. And also up here, we need to make sure to include system but threading by kind of using some other okay, shit. Sir, 2024, and they're gonna stick with like the same okay, audio so we shitty system nice from fucking really. 20 so years now, ago. Over here on the lobby, let's just call the function allocate our relay. Oops. Oh, shit. Oh, I just did. Oh, got it. made it async, so let's also await this. Okay, so this is going to allocate our relay, and now the reason why I made it return the allocation is because we're going to need it. After we allocate, we need to actually generate the code in order to be able to use it. 
And now the reason why I made it return an allocation is because we need the allocation in order to set the entity transport. So the way we set it to use a relay is we go inside the network manager, let's access the singleton, and from the singleton, let's get the transport attached to it. I'm too tired to so make models. So let's get component of type unity transport. Let's chill, dude. Research right more shit. Let's chill, dude. So inside unity netcode transport CPC. Progress. Then on the transport, we've got a function set I'm working on the uh, data, relay right now. And this is how we can yeah. pass in data. So let's make a new of this type. Good work, good work. Sets relay server data. Let's add this one. And over here, this one, as you can see, it takes an allocation. So that is why we need over here the allocation for the relay. So let's grab the allocation, allocation. We grab this, then we use it over here. And the next parameter is the connection type. And by default, Unity recommends using DTLS. So this is some type of encryption. All right, so that's it. So now when we call start host, it is going to start the host and start the connection going through this relay. So this handles over here the creating the host. And how we join a relay is we have to join through a code. So let's generate a brand new relay code based on this allocation. So let's make a function for that. So private void. Let's call this get relay join code. And inside, we go inside the relay service, grab the instance, and we get the join code async. And this one, as you can see, takes an allocation ID. So let's receive a parameter allocation allocation. And over here, we use the allocation dot allocation ID. Okay, so this one is going to return a string with our relay join code. So string for the relay join code. And we get this. And as usual, let's await this. And this one is async. Okay, great. So we have this one, and then let's do it just like we did. So let's. return this really join code so let's make it return a task of type string and then we can just return the really join code now as usual let's put this inside a try catch so let's try and let's catch a really service exception let's do debug.log on e and we have to return something so let's just return music. I, this does not feel like it fits the game to me. This one uh, is when you're at a club or something like that, yeah. Ah. It's some shitty... Yeah. You're just gonna have to skip ahead in this one. I, I don't think it's bad, it just it does not fit the game in my <laughs> mind. Yeah, conspiracy game and then you're fucking at a club. It's like, yeah, happy feeling. Yeah. It is a happy bar. This is why I come to these streams, they are so motivating. <laughs> Yeah, I like the sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you get when Frank and I get together, we complain about Arma a lot. It's because we we it's like uh, you were dating someone for so long that you had such a good relationship and they're wonderful, and then all of a sudden they start changing slowly over the years, and you're like, please don't, no, and then they just eventually become Daisy. And then you're okay, sad. So now this function gets us a really join code. So now in here, after we get the allocation, let's get a string for the relay join code. And we get the relay join code and pass in the allocation. And Wait, I believe. And let's make sure to do this on the way. Okay, great. So that's pretty much all we need over here on the create lobby. So we allocate the relay, we get the relay join code, we set up the NT transport to use this relay, and then we start the host. So that's all great over here. The next thing we need is some way of joining the relay through a code. So let's make that function. So private void, let's call it join relay. And over here, let's go inside the relay service, the instance, and we join allocation async. So this one takes a string for the join code. So let's receive here the string for the join code. And we use the join code. This is how we can join a relay. And you can note how this one returns a join allocation. So that is the same type of allocation that we're going to need in order to set up the network manager in the transport. So let's also make this function return that. So let's return a task of type join allocation. And as usual, let's make this async. And on this one, let's await. And the usual try catch.
So this one returns the join allocation. Return this, and over here return the default. All right, so that's this. Crazy to me that I can do all this and not understand ninety percent of it. <laughs> like, I don't know, like I understand like what it's doing, but I don't understand how. Like I understand that this is sending a, a sync to the server, but I don't know how or why. <laughs> it's doing. It's just. It's magic. We pass in <laughs> join code. That's how. Yeah, you're, just... you're applying join code. Yeah, it's magic, dude. Hey, really good work. Join code, and then it joins the allocation. So then, let's go down here to where we are joining. So, for example, over here on Quick Join. So we first joined the lobby. Okay, great. Then afterwards, let's join the relay. So let's call join relay by code. And over here, obviously, we need the join code, but let's worry about that in a little bit. So this one is going to return a join allocation. So join allocation. We await this and we get that. And then with this allocation, we can do the same thing that we did here in order to set up the Unity Transport. So we just paste. A new project? What kind of project are you going to do? Gotta learn some Unity. Just kidding. Sick with the fun. Sick with Game Maker. Don't take that advice. this function instead of using an allocation we use the join allocation okay so that's it this is all we need in order to join through the relay now the obvious thing is over here we need the relay join code so the big question is how do we get it and actually that's very simple we're going to use the lobby and all but i'd die if i had to program it <laughs> i think i'm lucky because c sharp is very much like arma code so it wasn't that hard of a transition in order to share the relay join code. But it so is daunting in the, when we are in the beginning for are sure. Getting the allocation, getting the relay join code, and let's just add the re relay code. You got a new idea you want to do? Data. So we're going to let's just. go in the lobby service, the instance, and let's call the function update lobby async. So we're going to update the lobby data. This one requires lobby ID, so let's use the join lobby.id. And then for the update lobby options, let's create a new object of this type. And over here we can update all of this type. And let's update the data. So let's make a new one of this type. So this one takes a string. dictionary. Let's add a brand new entry to this dictionary. And first of all, for the key, let's define a key. And as usual, let's not define it over here. So let's go to the top of the file and make a nice constant. So up here, a private const string, call it the key. join code and say really join code okay so we have this key and over here when we update one lobby let's use this key and then for the value let's just pass in the relay join code so this needs to be inside that object so let's make a new that object and for the
visibility. We want this to only be visible to members of this lobby, so let's go with member. And for the value, let's pass in the relay join code. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so I missed this code up. Lobby service instance update lobby async. Oh wait, missing my idea. Missing my idea will involve a commanding unit. You have to find the enemy and destroy them, but you're given limited info through radio messages and stuff. Oh, the probably be proof of concept for my other plane game ideas since mechanics are similar except planes. Electronic warfare. Okay. It's like a puzzle game. That's interesting. Definitely make it. Definitely make it. Something that you're excited about and you want to do? Really do it. So with this, we are updating the lobby to hold the data for the relay join code. Then all we need is to get it when someone joins. So down here on the quick join, we have joined the lobby. And inside the lobby, we can simply access the data. And inside, we can access on the same key. And yep, over here, we have a string for the relay join code. So we have this, and then we just use it over here. And also, by the way, this one has a data object, so we need to grab the value. Okay, so that's really it. It really is that simple. So when we create, we update the lobby data with the really join code. And when we join, we grab that. We use that to join the allocation, and we join with Unity Transport. Now we need to do is we need to make sure to run this code before every single start client. So over here on the quick join, we do that. we need to make sure to run this code before every single start client. So over here on the quick join, we do that. Then on join with ID, let's do the same thing. And same thing done. All right. I think it might be done, but I should probably test before I say that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. You got to test. It's good. Yeah, it's probably a bug. No. You can join with code, you can join with ID. A relay, it's a quick join, a lot of features. But the UI looks like ass. Not half bad. Programming compelling enemy is hard. You know, I don't know what, what the game engine does that you're having, but if you could do a simple a finite state machine, and, and I think for most players, I mean, it depends what kind of enemy you want. I feel like a boss or monster enemy, but I think there's. They don't just charge straight at you all the time, or the mixture of that. I think people find them a lot more interesting. If you, even if you just have a guy that shoots at you and runs away, and then comes back to shoot again, like that alone is a lot more interesting than just a guy who stands there shooting at you. So, uh, I think uh, if the bar is pretty low, is what I'm trying to say for most games. <laughs> here join with code like that so you always need to make sure to set up the NT transport to use a relay before you start client or start host all right so that's really it with this the relay is fully implemented so let's test also on the network manager let's scroll down to the NT transport and over here for the protocol well, let's swap it out for the relay the unity transport all right so here Front. And the Unity, one last thing feature is they have a debug simulator for netcode. You can simulate packet delay or jitter even drop. Mm. You, 
can actually like simulate it to code and see how your game handles the like, boss oh, packs. Oh no shit! Like, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. It's cool. Uh, who the fuck thought of that? How do how do you even how would you even code that? To I don't game? know. I can't believe how tired I am, and I took a fucking like two hour nap. You go 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 bed, dude. Huh? <gasps> the bed front. Not yet. Not yet. Let's go ahead and hit on play. Like Let's crazy time. Lobby. I didn't and model anything. Like... Therefore, that's not. I didn't. I made no progress. I need you to pick one thing in the code. Tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> For the game. Uh, uh plants growing. Hello world. Yeah, that's good, sir. Plants growing <laughs> from the ground. I want. I want to be able to see plants grow. Easy. You see what you do is you spawn the models in the ground under the ground terrain, and then you just have the uh, y-axis raise up over time. There you go. Boom. I get it, coach. Easy. We need to have all the little details. When you're laying in prone, you may be laying on a ant hill, and then you get covered in ants. <laughs> you guys like ah! There's mosquitoes. There's bumblebees. Spoders. Even though it's a very real thing that happens all the time, that is probably not a feature I would ever code or want to include in a game. Things like that are like like inconvenient shit. Like I was thinking today, uh, yeah. like, the only way VR really is the only way you can get certain game mechanics to make more sense. Like like yeah. weapon jamming. I was like, what's a fun way? No one has been able to do a fun, good like a, a, a good way to do weapon jamming. And I was thinking last night. I was like, uh, if we were to do it, which we're probably not. If we did VR, then maybe. But it would have to be one where it has, you have to have visual indicators that yep. it's going to jam. Like dirt in the uh, inside the dust cover, for example. Like, okay, your weapon yeah. jams, it double feed, you know, you look in the fuck, you know, you do all the proper, uh, if you're doing, you're using handgun, you know, you rack the slide and you can see there's a double feed and you have to fucking pop, you know, get the rounds out. That would be more fun, it's more interesting, because you could see it, it's visual, rather than having to press R, you know, like, oh, my gun's jammed for no reason, because of random chance. Like, if there was more of a rhyme and reason, like, you could see dirt build up on your weapon, and if you're not oh, making them work together. Then it that would make more sense. Because I've shot yeah. quite a bit of guns. I've only. Making enemies work together like... can be difficult. Actually, the only gun but... I've ever had jam on me was a fucking MP5. Yeah, well, I'll Those talk about that in a second. Shit. Those are notorious for being mm -hmm. pieces of shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, because most gun like games, like Tarkov, for example, are way overdo it. Your guns jam yeah. so often. It's like they don't jam like well, that like oh and actually there is one thing there's a, there's certain situations that will, will increase the, in reality but will increase uh certain malfunctions of the weapon for example like let's and what in arma like when you are prone you do like this side like the side prone you know when he's like yeah you put off to the side like if your gun is let's say you're laying over on your left and yeah. the, the weapon ejects rounds to the right your weapon is now the gravity is fucked up now, so like, because it's not meant for that. It's not meant for you to be laying fucking gun on its side, you know. And so what can happen is the the round that's getting ejected sometimes will not properly eject, and then you get like a double feed or some shit like that. Launcher um, unity. Those would be some examples. That is true, but I go like, what? Oh, is it test time? Yep. I'm gonna upload it, but what does like that add to the actual game? Yeah, no, no. And I'm it's not that saying. it same doesn't. Add if it was anything. VR, it would. But... Yeah, VR would be cool, but like. The add more than takes because I think that's cool. Like I think the idea of jamming in a more co-op focused, less competitive game is interesting. But then I also go like a lot of it, like a lot of that jamming stuff is like you said, there are things that impact it, but it's such a low. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It's just a very real. It's a real thing, but like in in a PC game, I don't see how you can do it and make it make sense. Like, make it make sense. Far Cry. And yeah. Far Cry 2 probably was the best where you see your gun degrading over time, it has a condition meter, and like as it's lower, it jams more. That makes sense. And you can see it visually yeah. getting like shitty, so you know it's gonna break. You see pieces falling yeah. off of it. I would rather spend time coding in shit like barrels overheating and melting. 
That would mm -hmm. be fucking yeah. cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shooting too much, and it's only for the bigger guns. But like, you know, that's the real thing you have to worry about. With yep. Guns. <laughs> so. That is true. In Arma, everyone likes to just hold left click. Yep. Like, so that'll be, uh, Arma's good. Milsim game can't even do a basic, you know, like 50 cal, <laughs> same thing. 50 cal, you have to replace. That's why the barrels do mm -hmm. all the way they are, because you have to actually replace them. Yep, so all gunners or their assisting gunners literally carry extra barrels for when their belt barrels will, will melt. Yeah, yeah. It's like, that would be a cool mechanic. And because it actually it also has gameplay impact, instead of just being like a random RNG, fuck you, it's a, you know, your, your barrel has durability. Yep. And so, essentially, what it would boil down to, and you could, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, you gotta simplify more, it. The more you shoot it, and the, like, the faster rate of fire, the faster it breaks down, and that's something you have to manage. It, it, it becomes a resource to manage, so it's a lot more about than just bullets, it's about that. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I find that more interesting. I will say I don't I don't enjoy manage like like in games where I have to repair my weapons and shit. Mm -hmm. I actually hate that personally. But um, I think for special in, weapons it would make sense, but not for like yeah. a normal M4 like that. No. Right, 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 yeah. No. But no, like that, that's a good point though. Like it's a balance between tedium and engaging during you know yeah. actual gameplay like. Like for reloading, they have an artillery piece and reloading it. Like I, you don't want to have to the player to have to like grab the shell, open up the tube, throw the <laughs> shell in. Close it. All that is cool. That gets tedious really quick. It's cool in VR. It makes sense. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it's immersive and like you, it's actually intuitive for you to do that. But in a yeah. PC game, it's not. It's in a PC game, you want to yeah, just like reload. And as long as the ammo's nearby, you can you can have an animation do it. Like it opens up, shell goes in, shell comes out. That's fine, but it's got to be automatic. It's player. like it's like those robots that they ha they're showing off at Amazon, where like the robot is like all it's trying to do the simplest task, put like like put a, take a box out of a shelf and put it onto a crate, or, or some shit like that. Take it out of a crate and put it onto a shelf. It's like and it, like you can see it's struggling so hard and it's like yeah. doing all these extra steps to do it. That's how it feels to play uh -huh. a PC That's game a good point. to do all that shit. All right, check like, them the changes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, I mean it's I would like. I want, and one thing I think Arma should lean more into, well, maybe not because of the engine, but like I like our game to have more of a physics based engine. Where you can interact with more things in the world, pick them up, move them around, you know, have it feel more natural. Like, instead of it floating in front of you, being able to pick up like a sandbag wall or something, or even move, maybe not sandbag by sandbag, because that would be a tedious. Not run very well, but I was thinking of that though. <laughs> do you, and you could do that and have it not. Perform People love poorly. that shit though. That's the thing. People yeah. love that shit. When it comes to base building, make it as tedious as possible. People don't give a fuck. Like if they they think it's cool. Oh wow, I gotta put every nail in the board. I wouldn't say no. that. Oh. I'm just saying people love that shit. <laughs> they do. I, I hate it. I hate base building personally, but most uh, people love that shit. I, I think that. The only thing that like reminds me of Ace, the only thing that bringing a sandbag around was helpful is because you could put it down the ground and deploy your gun on it. And that was the only time it was like nice. Otherwise, like in actual gameplay, I can sit there. I know some people would. But I would be so annoyed if I like, all right, I'm gonna build up the sandbag, and if, then it turns as soon as it turns into work, real life work, I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> like, I would rather do a system where I don't know, where it's like I want the sandbag wall to go from here to here, and it generates it, and then you're like, then now I need 20 sandbags to fill it up, or the fuck, and you have to drag them, put them nearby. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I was even thinking of like, oh, you just have like, if you had like your dissension style mi uh, mission, but is that, if that's the game mode, then you'd have like AI engineers come out and they do the sandbags ba bag yeah. for bag and stuff. That would be make make more sense, but it would be whether you'd want to actually code that, I don't know. But yeah, that would be more interesting than players having to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's like tedious shit, I think AI. That's what AI should be for. I'm in the. Uh, what do you want me to do? Go to the. Um, lobby? Um, 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 uh, yeah, go to the. Or main menu. What is it? Make sure you get to the one with like the quick create lobby, quick join screen. Probably lobby menu then? Let's that see. is the lobby menu. Oh, I have to play. Dear. Then hit play. And would you mind streaming? to see okay go ahead and just try creating a lobby and make sure to give yourself a, a name Wait, why is your scale all fucked up oh you're under a free aspect up there click on that and go to a full hd uh, to the uh, right of display one 
It's to the top left underneath the game tab. Okay. Oh. And, and go to the right of display one. And, and go, go to like your actual resolution, full HD. Okay. There you ah, go. Ah, okay, interesting. And then to give yourself a name by typing in that box up top. Donkey. Donkey. Um. Cree lobby or join? It's almost fucked. Oh, did you uh, update your Unity version? I don't, th I don't think you did. No, I mean, I, like, in the, play did, the Unity day. version control, did you update my changes I just pushed? Yeah. Did you? Incoming changes, it's fucking, yeah. Wait, hey, something went wrong. I'll um, play it. Yeah, it. something went wrong. Yeah, something went right. Your version and mine are different. What? Hang on. I told you to keep, yeah. Um... Oh, your change is sort of the second one. Or is that not what I'm supposed to do? Make a small change and push it one more time, because you're like what you had on your screen is just different than what I had. That I don't know what, mm. what caused that. Let's try one more. Let's try one more time. Okay, I pushed it one more time just to see. Oh, there we go. I didn't, ha I didn't reload. Well, we'll see. Now, now it's gonna work. Now if you hit play, let's see what the fuck happens. Or if, or if you get errors. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, I had to reload it. Yeah, okay. Something went wrong. I don't know what, but... Lumbo. Lumbo, what now? Crate lobby. I'm gonna have to hit the button twice, because I don't know why right now, but there you go. Okay. Lobby name? Lobby name. Give it whatever name you want. Plumby. The very basic UI public. and then create public, yeah. I see it! <gasps> Can you join? You must call set relay server data before starting client. Ooh, hold on, oh, I can shit. fix this. Stay in your game. Shit! I forgot to update one code. <laughs> Damn it! There's My one line I forgot to update. Free. I don't know why the shadows get all fucked up. Yeah. It doesn't do it in an actual build, which is odd. It might be something to do with some of oh, anyway. I think I know what it is, but... Oh, oh wait, man. could it be the lighting in the lobby menu? Is It's taking that lighting? Um, it's... It might be, but I'm also... Because uh, you're transferring from one scene to another, and it's not... Or it's yeah, not, it might be like bugged out or something. Yeah, I'm not sure what the hell it's is not, going on. Yeah, I think it's taking the lighting from the lobby scene, and it's not synchronizing this light, which makes no sense, but that's what I'm just guessing. I'm pulling well it out of my ass. Who knows? Yep. Okay. That's the code. You need me to put, paste some code somewhere? No, I'm just working on my end. Yeah, those like trees have huge physics colliders or something on them. Oh, it's the fucking mesh colliders. I gotta get rid of those. Yeah, you can't, like, you can't like walk through. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forget. Yeah, you must call set fixed. relay server data. Yeah, it's right here. Ah. Uh... One more time. Oh yeah, maybe do I need to recompile or something? I still see your server, that's good. This is cool how I can uh Ooh, I have an oh, idea what I can code. I didn't compile the script, easy. that's why. The zooming like an armor, you just hold right click and it zooms in, just changing the FOV, I'm pretty sure is what it does. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's what you can do. Or you can actually move the camera forward. But the FOV is usually what most games do. Move the camera forward, you mean? No, you don't want to do that actually, just realized. After oh, I said then that, you go through the wall. Yeah, right? after I said that, I was like, "That's what the fuck is that lighting? Holy shit!" Not great. That's, that's bothering me. Yeah. All right. I think I fixed it. Netcode mismatch. Uh, Netcode network config mismatch. The configuration between the server and the client does not match. Oh, uh, is that because I just updated my code or some shit? Should I restart? Or uh, you rehost? Yeah, go ahead and yeah, go ahead and back out and I'll push the change again, so unfortunately. Right. Code it might be kind of verify. If that's an error, I'm not gonna have to look that up. That's I don't know what would be causing that. Okay, push the change. 
There is a refresh button. Click on the far right there, yeah. Ah, cool, good to know. It didn't have me reload though. That's okay, I didn't change the actual scene. I think you should just be able to hit play. I just want to see, is there a reload button? Oh, that would be nice. play before the ADD kicks in. Wombo remembered. Nice. Wombo. Yay. Create that lobby. Create that lobby. Or you're not creating it? Okay. Yeah, you can go. Chomp me too. God damn it. I don't know why I gotta double click. Frick. For, for looks. Frick. I see the server. Frick. Frick. Hey, I'm in. I got teleported, asshole. Damn it. I think I see you. I see your name. Oh, I think it's just my name above your character's head. No, I saw you over there. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Holy shit. It does say Plumbo above um, Oh, but I say... Oh, wait, oh, oh my Plumbo name's Plumbo, name. too. It's okay. I did not sync that at all. Yay. Hey! Look at that. Yay. Multiplayer. Wow. I want to see... Um... Right, How does it go when you go up that hill? I want to see if it handles the vertical shit. Okay. Because the jumping is not really great. I can't really jump on shit. Yeah, it's fucking cool. Yeah, the it's jump so code for this is really bad. The jump code is very bad. It's not <laughs> built for this. The gra like I, When I made this, the, I modified the gravity in my other project to make it more floaty. Oh, okay, okay. So. Yeah, I noticed that you're like, you're jumping in place practically. Yep. Yeah, okay, I see it. Jump try, try like wiggling too as you're going up. Like you're trying to dodge like a hunt showdown headshot. <laughs> yeah. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. I'm actually impressed at how it's not rubber banding at all. Yeah, I've inter uh, interpolation turned on. There's a lot more we can do to even. I just have it be a client authorized movement so it feels very smooth since I'm not too worried about, you know, PvP or hackers. It's, yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a co op game. Yep. I mean, there can be PvP with Russian versus US, but that's yeah. like later down the line. It's not gonna be like a, yeah, if that becomes an issue, we can move over. That's the nice thing about Unity, it can easily be further off. And then as soon as I spawn a cube, it's gonna crash it. <laughs> oh, crash me! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, uh, okay, that's it. Cool. Right, I can unpause the game. Oh, I can unpause it and keep nice. playing. Yeah! Oh, it's not happy. Every time you spawn an orb, it, it dies. <laughs> Network prefab cannot be found. Oh no. Ooh. Is there anything else we need to test it at this time? Um, let's, maybe we just, if you don't mind, just testing the lobby code system for joining and call it a day. Alright, alright. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll create a game. You can join me. That's that's awesome. I still, I still see your frick server. Frick. Frick. So quick join. I don't have a lobby up yet. Alright. I'm gonna call it Wombo Tombo. Wombo. I'm gonna do create private. And it should not be in that list. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a code. Largeman. <laughs> and that could just be your Steam name, but by mm. default and all that. But okay, the code. So you wanna type in the little black box. Okay. So if you can hit quick join, but it won't work because my lobby is private, so you can't test that if you want. Okay. But the quick join button should not work. And then the join code is going to be KT7 E7H. Caps, right? All caps, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. And I need to add messages like, you know, loading, searching, yeah, and all yeah. that. All right, that worked. Yep. So we got we got the ID system working. You can do quick join. You have a private system going. I'm actually curious about one one last thing, which actually has nothing to do with the network code. I guess it's more of a, a rendering thing. But I, I know. let's get on top of this hill real quick because that'd be the best way to test it. All right. 
<laughs> this is just cool. I'm just excited okay. to see you running around. I'm <laughs> yeah, in my, in my back. Yeah, I'm backwards on your screen. That's cool. In one week, you already have a fucking working multiplayer. <laughs> I'll take that. So, uh, what I want to see is uh, how how long does how far can I can I see your sh your shit synchronized? So I'm gonna be on top of this hill. I want to see you. Or, or I could run around. Oh, do you want me to run down here? Yeah, like, uh, out in, into, into the sand over there. Uh, I don't think I have any LEDs on this character, so... That's fine. Well, I'm, I'm expecting the character to just poop away, but it may just render him, like, the whole entire time. Which is also interesting. I don't think... I think it'll be... I don't think he's gonna poop. We'll find out, though. So you could run all the way to the end, and I would render I've, you the entire way. I, I, yeah, I don't think I, I don't think yeah, I don't think I have any. Dis I don't think you have to code all that in. I, I will become a pixel on your screen. <laughs> Look at that! Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ecstatic about the holy shit! This is yeah, actually much bigger than I thought. Yeah. It feels so small in the editor, and you actually start running yeah. across it, and you're like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. You're turning into a little baby. That's pretty fucking far. Start running left and right. Wow, well, it actually is still tracking. Okay, keep going. That's a good, uh, 30, fucking 400 meters. 500 meters. Ah, uh, well, we can, uh, I can find oh, out, wait, actually. Max, max out my you can go to the, you can get out of the game mode and go into the scene view and, like, see me as well that way. And you can actually look at my, my coordinates compared to yours. Uh, okay. That's the nice thing about this. Like we literally like this is how you debug a multiplayer. You just use the editor. That's so fucking cool. Damn, you're out there. Yeah, you're still I'm still right. going, dude. <laughs> Go, make a make a right. Oh, uh, that's still doing it. It's pretty fucking cool. It's not desyncing. It's like really smooth. No rubber banding. The sand actually doesn't look that bad. No, I actually like this too. Look how small the island is, or that mountain. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. What coordinates am I at? Can you? It's on the left. I should be. Can you click on me in the scene view there. I don't even. Oh no, you accidentally hit the. You accidentally hit the. Uh, no touchy button. Mm -hmm. I'm Amra five on the in the hierarchy. So, yeah, yeah. It's the left of that. Yeah, hit that. Oh, there you go. Now okay. you can click on things. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. My coordinates are. I'm like 600. Yeah. Each each unity unit is like a meter essentially, so okay. I'm like 630 meters away. That seems well, farther. Yeah, that looks more like a. I don't know. Yeah, that does that does seem further. Let me max up my screen. I need to make it so the head actually rotates with the camera up and down. That does. It's hard to say. You know what it is? It's hard to get a sense of scale. Of, it is uh, really hard to get a sense of scale. Sense, looking at that house, I may actually check out. That's cool. Yeah. Alright. Well, I can actually start syncing things. Yeah, that's fucking cool. Like, or, I have your name. Yeah, yeah, it overrides it. That's not synced at all. see your pixel out there. Oops, I just wanted that in a circle. But yeah, let me maximize screen and see. Well, it's easier for me to see you because you're on tan. I see you. Yeah, and you're like a little tiny white speck. That's crazy. You know one thing that I would like about a game like this with lower visual style is it's much more clear to see things. That's that's why I want this style is because um, that's that's the thing that everyone like doesn't know. everyone has that feeling like that it goes to these games like the old stalker and stuff like that it's like there's something about it and it's like it's you're easy it's easier for you to identify targets and yep. it's more fun to play in that case when you get too much blurring and too much realistic fucking uh, which I'm sure it would be fine for us to have depth of field as long as you could disable it you know motion blur oh yeah, oh, yeah well, right, optional right. settings but really what it comes down to is these sharp edges the the lack of anti-aliasing like the the less blending of shit is actually better for you as a for as a game mechanic in a sense I believe um, when I play World of Warcraft or Hunt Showdown I I turn my graphics down so, for that exact reason so I could identify shit more easily yeah. if everything starts blending because it looks more realistic or whatever it's not as interesting or 
easy to identify shit, and then you get frustrated that you can't see or find anything. Like it's particularly oh, frustrating. Flying over me. Yeah, I'm using the scene editor to move him around. <laughs> I was wondering if it updates it. I'm like in front of me down the hill now. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what does this look like? Oh, look at that. So as I'm dragging. <laughs> Oh, now you're representing a lot. That's, or are you dragging him? I'm using the uh, scene editor to drag him oh, around. Oh, we both do that? No shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually was curious if it updated him. I'm hacking. Dude, I'm hacking. Wow. <laughs> That's cool that it's that dynamic. Like, and. Ah, oh, that's cool. Pretty cool. Like, you literally could just add in some gun shooting, yeah, get clear. that set up, and you could have like a very basic game. Let's uh, run into each other. Like, let's go. Uh, just so, so we can see how the collision is. Uh, sprint into each other. It's actually perfect. Yeah, wow. it needs some, um, I think the camera needs some work because, like, you can see through things. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Though. That's I know a, a, field a lot of, of view games thing. do that. Yeah, I feel the viewer. I know a lot of games are like that, but We're because right now that rolling. your head's actually, like, not invisible in your character like most games do. So the camera's actually just inside your head. And so. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's what Arma does, but they make the head not rendered. It's a separate model. Yeah, they make the head not render. Yeah, and that one, I think you can do that with these models, but I'm not even sure. But this is just a temporary model anyway, so I wasn't too worried yeah. about it. Yeah. I think he's in this, yeah. I could model a character, but I don't know what, just, you know, I don't know if you have a pack already or some shit. For characters? Uh, yeah. <sighs> You, gotta do, you still gotta do the limbs. I don't mind the Synthi Studio stuff, man, but like you said, if you want the decapitation, you either have to. And then these guys, like for these characters. Oh, my game just. Oh, I alt tab it like froze. Wait, that's interesting. Wait, if I alt tab, what happens? Why didn't it freeze there? Huh. My like Unity is self froze. I don't mind uh, these characters for like, say, they're civilians or something, but they all have to match the aesthetic. So if, we, if you make a custom character. Oh, I see you dancing. And I know how to fix that shadow too. That's... I have to. I'm gonna have to do a lighting. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. we have the most basic lighting. It's like Armor One. It's like yeah. literally the same thing. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah, it's like two buttons to fix. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> ah, this is cool. I'm yeah, excited. It's be cool. Here, Funk, shoot these. Oh wait, no, one update. I just realized. Uh, it's okay. Oh, can you? Oh wait, I'm the host, oh, I, I forgot. That. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm the host, that's right. But you won't see this anyway, that's okay. And you won't see... No, because okay, yeah, these orbs aren't like synced that. at all. That's cool all right, that it right, does right. that. <laughs> that's a good one, I'm ecstatic, dude. Woo, it's fucking sick. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be quite, quite, quite cool. Yeah, and unplay this shit. Yeah. Oh, and you disconnected appropriately. Nice. Woo. Oh, my character poofed. Poofed. All right, good shit. We can handle the disconnection. How that works? That is uh, a lot better so far. I mean, obviously, we got to see how the destruction is handled when you sink the balls. I would imagine it's gonna be just fine. Right, honestly, on, I, I can do that real quick. That honestly, it's like super easy. Now this is the really? easy part. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking it's gonna be like taking a whole nother week to do just that. Oh no, you know? no. So what I have on here is the here's the test bullet here. Can you fix the lighting? Uh, see, in here it's not. Or do you just? Um, 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 yeah, let me... I like, know, like, is it pulling shadow. the lighting from the lobby menu? That's what I'm thinking, See, I'm but thinking I have no it's... idea. I'm thinking it's, uh... Or something more simple like this. Just let me make sure. I think it screen. happened after I added this fucking thing. I want to fix the spawning of our characters, which irritates the fuck out of me, but... I'll worry about that later. Also... You know, let's see. Let me make a quick change. Uh, hopefully, it's will that make ch issues if I uh, if I do a change to those fucking trees right now to get rid of the collision. Uh, no, I won't uh, touch this scene. All right, one second. I won't touch this scene. I'll just touch this pre this uh, one prefab, and you're good.
since we're moving the mesh colliders on all these environment objects. Because it needs to be a sphere, first of all. Second of all, I gotta start. I gotta this weekend. I'm gonna do all do the LEDs for all these. I think. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to do billboards yet, uh, or how to create a billboard. Do you know? Um. Uh, yeah, it's just a plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a plane, and then Unity automatically makes them face the camera. Like there's, it's, just, oh, it's a certain really? like it's not just a plain object you put down, but like there's I think you have to like tell it to be a billboard, but it, uh, Unity automatically has it face the camera. Is that a component maybe? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't right done now. it yet, but I do know it's yeah. relatively simple. Billboard renderer. Ah. Yeah. A component. Like that. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, okay, okay. I'll have to look into that tomorrow. And get that banged out. All right. Um, I made these all not have. Let me double check actually. Okay, looks good. Yep, alright, let me push my changes. Just gotta add some code here. Also, uh, I think you removed the vehicles. Um, I don't remember doing that, but I probably, uh, probably didn't save it or some shit. But they're still in the project, though. Uh, save and push changes. There we go. All right, changes pushed. Okay. And here we can say instantiate. This is how we spawn. I think it's cool that we can just fucking. If this is an armor mod, uh, mod we were doing together. This would take so much longer. It would, wouldn't it? That's why I love it. Let's <laughs> instantiate and we give it the game object. I'm gonna write down, because I'm going to forget to code the zooming. So I feel like that'd be easy. It's just using an input <laughs> component thingy from yeah, Rewired. Yeah, help you, like, just to learn, um... And, like, the camera FOV is probably just a variable that you can just easily uh, update. Yep. I'll probably still struggle to do something as simple as that, but... Well, I mean, you zoom in, zoom out. That's a good place to learn it. I don't have this yield here. Oh, that's because it returns. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what to do is you create for some security, I'm making it so um, all I have to do for a command is add this tag above it called server RPC. And that means only the server can execute this command. Like Unity makes it real easy to uh, Shit work. And then what I do here, if I remember right, is I'm gonna just come. I might be messing up the order of certain things, but I just have the client call that RPC, and I need to give him. What does RPC stand for? Uh. Remote protocol, remote protocol. Client. <laughs> remote procedure call. Oh, okay, okay. And you can like modify a lot of these. So like, I have to move it be not remote RPC. Like the, the client will tell the server where they're at because it just makes everything feel much smoother right now. Because if you have server movement, that's any annoying. But right now for the bullets, every time you click, what's going to happen is it's going to spawn a bullet locally on your end, and the server is going to tell everyone else to spawn a bullet on their end. And then everyone's own computer will do the physics calculations themselves. But if you give them the exact same variables and everything, it'll look almost identical. And that's how most games do it. I'm still surprised at how the netcode is already better than Arma. <laughs> it's insane, like, dude. You know, we didn't like rubber band or desync into each other, like through each other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or like it, our positions and get like offset and like teleport, like when we collided. I was totally expecting something like that, any, any of those issues. Oh, yeah, Literally no issues so far, which is uh, very, very uh, impressive. 
Especially in like, yeah, when I just got the netcode working. Yeah, but, that's yeah. the thing. And that was I'm... like, it had found a server for us and all of that. Like, it's insane. Yeah. Oh, so that was the relay system. That oh, was the no relay shit. system, yeah. We wow, were... was that fast? Holy fuck. Yeah. You got it done that quick. Yeah, that's all it. Uh, wait, wow. what's happening? Did anyone do this wrong? You pass, sorry, I'm just understanding this code. You pass position and then direction, transform the rotation. Wait, upset at me. Argument two cannot convert unity vector three. Transform. Oh wait, what? Oh. Oops, that's why. I see. Has to be like. I believe. Hold on, I'm really fucking this up. Got excited and I'm rushing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would it be more productive for me to make the building fully destructible like doing all the other pieces? Because uh, uh, I, I, if you don't want to do that, then I can. I just have to learn how to do I it. I can do it. I do want to show you how because it's not. They're not incredibly difficult. Um, Otherwise, I'm just gonna do the LODs for the trees and bushes and stuff, and bang that annoying yeah. shit out, and the rocks, and billboard them and whatnot. Figure that all out. So I feel like we have enough trees now. Um, I have I made three rock variations. I don't know if you saw them in the test vehicle test scene or whatever, but they're kind of decent. I, I do need to make a few more rocks, smaller rocks, but. Other than that, oh, and then I gotta make telephone poles because we're, we're gonna make a town, and there's like certain town objects I would like to make. I need to figure out how we gotta do roads because I, I have not looked into that at all. I know where to get the textures though. I'm gonna buy them from uh, textures.com. That's yeah, that works. It's great. That's weird, doesn't like that. Okay. Okay, it's gonna pass this variable into here. Boom. And then I think that I do I think I should make a character model though, because I think banging that out it would be better. Um but I'm probably, if we do not, because the only reason why I haven't done it already is just because I, I thought we already had a pack already, like, and... We got um, packs for lots of items and objects and things, but not like the style you want. Like, I got a shit right, ton of yeah. terrain things, which I think are fine. And maybe I, you know, I, it's fine to be honest about it, but I'll sit down and show you all of them. Mm -hmm. I can do that, you can do that after, right after this, because I have a metric fuck ton of them. Um... Just admit, but they all, that's the thing, the art style needs to, least, it doesn't need to be, you know, fantastic, but it needs to match. Yeah, I don't like You can't the have style. different art it styles. It is cartoony. I think it's just the textures that you don't like. I, I, I disagree. Either. It's the forms are like skinny, and like the, the bigger, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a Pixar style, basically, I mean, for in the a way. people, but not the objects. The objects look just fine. Oh, oh yeah, the objects, yeah. I, no, yeah. I don't have an issue with the objects. Oh, yeah. The people, though, yeah. I, I can see yeah. that. I could agree with that. That is definitely a little cartoony. Like the the objects is definitely a texture thing. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the faces and stuff, which is whatever you just make. It's not even just like the head, like the whole model, like the hands, the forearms are like, it's like Pixar style is the best way I could put it. Or like the game Brink, fucking ancient game. It's got that style. RPCs can't be async. And I'm not looking for an excuse to mount model my own human character. <laughs> you I'm son of a saying, bitch. I'm just saying, um... You son of a bitch. I don't want a cartoony fucking art style, that's all. A low poly character that we can make dismemberable, um... I'll, I'll probably base it off the current character I have for Skull Sledge, but I'll remake the head and stuff so that it's more, more, uh... Actually, I don't know. I may have to make a new one. 
I don't know if we want to go lower poly, same poly count, or higher poly. As far as the characters go, I don't, I don't. We have to. That's something that's something we need to yeah. make certain what we want for moving forward because it's a making a character is kind of annoying because it's every body part, like the hand, forearm, bicep, body, pelvis, thighs, lower legs, feet, hands, head. It's a lot of sh different components to make and. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to model it with the wrong poly count, and then it's like, oh. Well, a lower poly is easier and quicker to yeah. make. I will say that. There are but. a couple options. I think I was thinking about the dismemberment. That pack we got, Rayfire. I was curious. I oh, know it won't work on skin meshes. I don't think. Never mind. Oh, it's like, right, it has the right. slicing feature, and I was like, mm. I could do shit like that, but that might be harder. Not worth it. Mm. But I'm all for like messing with things just to see, like. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, if there's, like, a, a more uh, granular method. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't, I don't want to limit our... Yeah, thing is, like, performance is an issue, right? So, like, what's... You kind of... You have to cut corners in a way. Although, it would be cool to just blow people's arms off, you know, in a... Like, left a dead way. Like, you're ripping uh -huh. off. It knows, yeah. like... This is where the bones are, this is where the, the muscles are, you know, the intestines hang out from here, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like that, but that's... I've watched videos on that, that's a lot of work to model. Um, they yeah. have, like, shaders and stuff. The shader ones I don't like. Like, uh... What, uh no more room in hell. What's that shitty failed game, like, dead... It, it was a CryEngine, it was a, all in Canada, remember we looked at it, it came out, and it was like a, it was barely, it wasn't even a tech demo, it was like, literally a scam, uh, a zombie game. Oh, I don't remember the name Dead of Matter. Dead Matter, yeah, Dead yeah. Matter. I forgot what I was just even talking about. Oh, 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 they they use a shader, so they did a shader method, and it looked like shit. It like it's if it's just like retexturing what you shoot, it does not look good. Yeah, no, that's not like good. you're retexturing it to look like it's this. I, I don't know, it just looks shitty. It's not good. You'd have to actually like use geometry, like uh, you, um, kind of like uh, you know, um, and Left 4 Dead or Dead Dead Island is really good. Um, or a system that's like. Game. What's the one that Michaels are getting playing the shit out with the little dwarves? Uh, fuck you, I'm not gonna know. Oh, oh um, um, Deep Rock? Yeah, 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 Deep Rock, there you go. Um, like how they, they carve into built walls and shit. It's the same thing with bodies, potentially. Like where you shoot and like it digs into the mesh, but I feel like that would probably be too heavy for the system and it probably would distort like uniforms and stuff and not look as good. Yeah, you can. The more automated you make it, the, yeah, the more weird shit that can happen, that's for sure. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna make a lobby. I don't need to help test yet, but I wanna see if I can shoot something. What I have here is. Okay, it is working. What I have here is the server's creating this, and it's completely controlled by the server. So, that original method I told you where all the clients spawn it right now, the server spawns it and controls it entirely. Hmm. And. I actually thought that would not work, but we might want to test that. Let me get your changes in here. All right. First, I am going to... Uh, it's pending. You need to hit incoming. Thank you. There you go. I'm going to keep your incoming changes. Then we are going to... Uh... change one thing before I push it. This is just pure server control over the bullet. Uh, so you hit a button, you have to wait for the server to spawn the object in, like the bullet to send it flying. We'll see how that <laughs> goes. And you can we can control I'm gonna have it it already interpolates, which is great. How about this? Should be. 
Now, obviously, there's gonna be more need to be synchronized, but it's a oh, very yeah. good start so far. It's a very good start, yeah. Like head rotation, uh, synchronization. Like if you guys like using head head tracker or whatever, like looking left, looking right, free looking. Head motions, because armor does that, and never yeah. use sim actually Should does be that. Good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. so I could join now. Uh, you're gonna have to accept the changes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Incoming change. You should see some script changes that you will definitely need. Okay, check them in. I didn't. Did not prompt me to reload. Yeah, I didn't change anything. Make sure you're in the lobby menu. Oh, it Let's says play. the event Ember Five Lobby dot on trying to join game is never used. That's probably not an issue. Oh yeah, no, that's that's just yeah. a variable I haven't used. I'll create a lobby. I'll just. All right, hitting play. Let's, uh, you want me to create a lo lobby or join one? I uh, just can join mine. All right, Franky, damn it. Yeah. Uh, what's the code? Uh, the code, if you want it, is C-X-H-A-F-N. Run through your trees, dude. Yay. I see you. Oh, shit, you oh. teleport. I poofed. Hey! This is complete server control over the... <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> this is our game, dude! Beep, beep, beep. Good work, good work. Dodgeball game. Can we, can we break shit? Oh, we can't even see it. Oh uh, my god. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's put down a, put down oh, a yeah. light source. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I doubt that's gonna sync between both of us, but... Ooh, good point. Let me see. It's okay, I think we both can put down a light, though. I'm gonna put down a point light. Light and yeah, I guess point light. Okay. Holy shit! This, yeah, we gotta fix this. I gotta figure out why the lighting is doing this. But I put one in the house to at least light up the. Oh yeah, that helps. Yeah. yeah I doubt you're seeing that, but I had to. No, I put. I had to put my own. All right. Yeah, I can see the inside of the house though. Ah, this is cool. Something's All right. Definitely wrong with these. Game. So shoot the wall, what happens? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did see the whole create. Let me share my screen. Uh, there's a different spot, I think, but... Uh, it's... It shouldn't be too different. Oh, well, wait, maybe not. No, it just looks like that because of the field of view. Oh, yeah, that's, no, the, that's the same spot, and... The shape is different, though. Is it? Okay, okay. Yeah, and I don't think there's much we can do about that, unfortunately. Yeah. Hole up there. Can you see that hole? I do see that hole. Alright. Cool. Does it look the same for you? The wood? No, the wood, for some reason, mine did not break. Oh, oh I see. Hmm. Oh, wait. It's not doing that on my end either. No. Weird. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Uh, it's weird. It, it did break through one spot, though. Oh, that, that might be a bug with just the, how I set that up. Oh, I can't okay, break okay. the fucking planks either, so I think there's something else going on there. Alright. So let's both start shooting this wall to see how it goes. That's running fine. Yeah. My stats activated here. I'm still sitting at uh, 20 yeah, should... FPS. I forgot to look at my FPS. Fuck it. That's 50. But. I don't know why yours is so low. Oh, we did get an error though. Oh, that's a different kind of error. I think 120 FPS. Why is yours going slower? Yeah, 60 FPS. It's weird. Running at a higher. Yeah, I noticed that sometimes it's low, sometimes it's high. Yeah. Uh, at least in, at... Skull, in the Skull Sledge project, sometimes I have 144, sometimes. Uh, might be it's Unity. 200. Well, you know that might be a hard drive thing. I don't know. Yeah, you're sitting yeah. at 70. I'm sitting at 180 FPS right now. Yeah. Let's see if it matters where I look. 72 is like where it's cat. Your, your C, something's going on with your CPU main. You're sitting at 15 milliseconds. Average, I'm sitting at 5. You know, though, here's the funny thing though. My render thread is going at 4.2 milliseconds, and your render thread's at 1 millisecond. <laughs> your CPU is running slow. How many birds? Wait, why is yours rendering? Oh, I can see. So, when I look straight down, I'm actually rendering more verts than if I look forward. That's hilarious. Hmm. 
I don't know where that is. If I look right here, I'm getting 1.1 million verts at 120 FPS. Because of the terrain, I believe. Probably, All yeah. the triangles and the, the ground. It's not, it's not, uh, there's no occlusion culling or whatever. Lock it in DFR. Yeah, you like can jump through the floor right now, it's not great. This. Now you're stuck. I'm gonna throw balls at you. <laughs> Eat the balls, from. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta jump out, out so the house can get. Alright, I'm pretty happy Wait, about you that. Your, crate, your, armor, your, your cargo crate. I don't think it works though. Shit. You can you hit E it? on it, but it'll give you an, uh, an error. Oh, yeah. Right, I, haven't, yeah. I haven't set it up yet. Damn it. That'll be the cargo for the Humvee. Oh, wait, you can actually move this crate. Can, can you see me pushing this? Uh, nope, because it's, it's not on the network. Ah, oh, okay, so you don't yeah. see me Okay. Yeah, so yeah, you have to actually pick everything you want synced. This is, I see it over here with me. So, oh, okay. Which is a good thing. But you can dynamically yeah. sync and unsync objects. Okay. Oh, can you see you breaking of these? Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's so cool. fucking cool. Ooh, break them all. Ah, Just I to see it. how it hits FPS. My computer's not a good benchmark, but... I don't know why a computer's doing that. Maybe I'll just be your Unity, I don't know. Uh, it could be just my shit hard drive. Lighting is better from this side, I guess. I don't know, something's <laughs> fucked with the LMATs with it to learn and figure it out. Oh, Astro, I missed your, I missed your message there. No one told me you make a video game to make the whole game. <laughs> I know, right? It'd be nice. Just make parts of it. <laughs> it's cool. Ah, that is really cool. yeah, it's not too bad for a uh, first test, that's for sure. I know, first test, man. Like, it's no crashes, nothing, and we can even. Let me do. Uh, I'm gonna. While well, you're still here, really quick, I wonder if I can have it. Your wonder... your uh their pattern for the broken wall in front of you is exactly the same as mine. I think. Oh, it, it is, is exactly the same. Yeah, so that's pretty. I'm wondering impressive. if the house just isn't set up. This one is too. They're all the exact same out here. Okay. That would make more sense because... I mean, this is not like... Yeah, this is completely server-controlled bullets. And we can try that for a while and see. The nice thing about that is it's completely server-handled. and the climb That hole is a little different on the top right. That is I can it? Yes. Yeah, uh, mine screen. is... Oh. Mine's more of like a oh, it is. thumbs yeah, down yeah. looking yeah, thing. Yeah, I see that. It can be a little different. Interesting. Which, aren't these pre-chunked? How does that even happen? It's probably just like the physics just barely touches it and then mm. one's client, because these this breaking is all handled client side, so... True, It's probably true. Just, just enough changes and the calculation is small enough, which shouldn't be a big deal for the game, because no, the game yeah. isn't centered around it, so... It's pretty sick. All that you. Very I'm, I'm cool. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, it's cool. Go to bed, Frank. No, no, it's only twelve, and it's Friday. But the today's goal has been achieved. We have multiplayer, and uh, we actually did more than I expected. We also oh. tested the destruction. Which yeah, is uh, really working nice. pretty well. I was actually expecting a lot worse. Like I said, I was yeah, expecting. We still gotta test the house more because I want to see how uh, the the physics interacts with the other physics objects when they're up close. I mean, so far we kind of haven't. I don't really know. It's a bad bad benchmark right now. I mean, we could. We could, we could just like copy and paste that wall, like put like a whole bunch behind it. Did my game just crash? Oh, I closed the server. Oh, okay. On you, yeah. I don't think I have any handling for server detection if it goes down. You can go to you can go to Am Amra five. Just I want to fix that damn lighting. It's, it's, yeah. You know, I don't know why. There's something going on with the settings.
real time shadows, so uh, should be. Doesn't do it in the scene view, which is odd. I... I'm just gonna look this up. I bet someone's run in, ran into this before. I'm guessing you're using the cheater. Advanced users are already doing this. A new user probably doesn't know they have to do this. Now I do have the lighting tab here, but just to show you the navigation, it's window, rendering, lighting. If you don't have it docked, then the window's just gonna... Okay, here we are. Oh, we don't even have a light asset in the scene. Oops. Mmm, wonder. That would help a lot. <laughs> Well, look at that, they have progressive GPU now for the lighting, that's nice. It's experimental, but... Better. Progressive. Fusion, sure. Yeah. Sure. High resolution, yeah, fuck it. Oh, I can see it changing. Yeah. There. And real-time global illumination, why not? No. No. I break it. Play in the scene and see what happens. Should I be making LODs for all the parts of the house too? Like before we start copy and pasting all over the fucking place? Um, no. Like for the internals of a house, they'll just be hidden until you get close. Alright. And then, like the outsides of the house, I mean, eventually yeah, we can turn them to cubes if we wanted, but pretty so well, simple. What if you're like you're a sniper on top of a hill looking down at a house that was hit by an airstrike, you know? Uh, it would be based off the green. camera zoom. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If the camera's like really zoomed in, then render it. That fixed? And you said there's a way to just update the prefab across all yep. times it's been used. Okay, so yeah. if that's the case, then that hope in theory can be done. Like I could just up add the LODs, essentially update the prefab. I may make a very low poly character, <laughs> just. Just for shits and giggles. A character that we... I mean, because low poly is... I could do that. Higher poly, my art, my art skills are not good enough to do a, like, uh... A good-looking human being character. Like, you know, human anatomy. I'm okay, but, you know. Sure. I'll show you some of the assets I have too here. 
First 10% of your programming is adding new features, and the next 90% is rewriting the code so it works with the rest of the code. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Oh, um, did you push your, push your changes? Uh, oh, nope. I just was testing it. Oh yeah, that fixed oh, okay. it. Okay. Oh, nice, hell yeah. So, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to, for shits and giggles, and decided I'm going to put a whole bunch of these walls. <laughs> It's like outside, back to back. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like just those walls. Oh, let's see. Maybe from the ceiling, looking yeah, uh, higher up, and then select it all. Ooh, that's a good. Idea. Let's just add that for a second. Damn, that's so fancy. Yeah. Yep. I do it from the terrain. Like, from the grass. It's not really numbered exactly. Like, uh, right out from the outside wall, this past the sliding. Like this? No, 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 go back to where you were. Click and drag from the grass on the top, from the top of your screen. Like a, uh, well, out I'm from outside. To, I'm there you go, to like that. Grabbing all the extra shit. Nah, it doesn't do it. Fucking who cares? Did I grab it. <laughs> good work, good work, good work. Oh, yeah, I think that grabbed it all. Let me pull yeah. this up. Damn it! Or we could just delete the whole thing. <laughs> Wait, why is it the whole thing? Uh, oh, G D does it count as a whole prefab when you do that? Oh, I've never had that happen before. What? Fucking weird. Oh, I think it's because when you click on it, it is like prefab together though. That's weird. Yeah, I don't think. Or it's behaving that way when yeah, you click I've on it. I've never seen that before. Or parented, I should say, not prefab. <laughs> I have never seen this before. I'm actually baffled by this. What? Hmm. Oh, I, okay. I think it's the home. For some reason. This. Okay. I see it's good. Base of the object's actually here. Uh, that's fucking weird. Drywall, 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 studs. Yep. Okay, that's it. It was three three types. It's literally just drywall, studs, pot, plywood, and then another drywall. Okay. I don't know, Jesus. Okay. There. <laughs> now I can copy paste that. That's... You still have the original wall where it was in the house? Could be. I thought I saw you drag it out. Okay, yeah. no. I dra well, I did fuck it up a little bit. That's okay. That's easy to fix. Oh. Harry. I fucked up the alignment on the house anyway. It's longer on one side. 
It's okay, that's... Yeah. A lot of other stuff is just hidden, by the way. I did delete this one. No. Uh, that, the ground, all that's just hidden, but this wall here, I think I, I just deleted. <gasps> Over. And then just for shits and giggles, front. I'm gonna add in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hear that yawn. No. Would it be complicated to put that grass shader and stuff in here, the, the windy foliage? Um, no, actually, I don't think so. I'm curious how it will look on the trees and stuff that are like plain based. The funny thing is, it's that's from like a voxel pack, but the shader doesn't matter if it's on a voxel or a 3D model. Yeah, so yeah. I was just curious, like, is it gonna distort the plane and make it not look good? But we'll, we'll see. Find out. Is that easy to add? <laughs> I just have to remember the, the asset it is. I think it's the, uh. Pretty sure it's this one here. Come on, Unity. I just realized I had your thing muted by accident. Hmm. Well, like you need to hear anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, Deus Ex Man, no, not Mankind Divided. What's the other one? Human Revolution is good, or RimWorld is always good too. Hey, I really want to hear this one specific royalty song. Ooh. This one here. Nah, that's smooth. Good work, good work, good work. Yeah, this song, I don't know why this song. As the kids say, slaps. Oh shit, that shit is fire, yo. It's that shit is it's a fucking banger, mate. Fun multiplayer game, too. It's a Fucking... Oh, wait. 
please. So the trunk would make it like make the trees stream tree seem like it's wave uh Yeah the trunk doesn't wave the same like, it just kinda leans. Yeah, leaning, there you go. These have a mesh render. Sure I know how to do this. Do this correctly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just add It's so funny. These planes. The planes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was figuring that might have been an issue. I don't know if it is or not. Planes are a problem in all aspects, huh? Oh, I see. I'm an idiot, so I think this happened. I don't know why I did that. There's a shader. Wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here. Oh. That's not good. Material need its own texture. It had no texture. That was weird. I didn't sort of point out. I was doing that to anything. No mm -hmm. Interesting. That's why I was. I did this before with my previous game. I didn't have any issue with the sun. I was getting rid of the texture. Oh. You're doing it to a mesh collider? Is that a reason? There's also no material applied. Now. It goes up here. That's the mesh render, that's the actual mesh, not the material, like the texture. Yeah, that's. Feels right, yeah, it's still part of the material. It's always been like that. No. Oh, uh, so on the mesh collider, or below that, see, that's where it's showing the prototype. See it? Texture. So when you change that, it's actually gonna change the texture as well. You can have multiple. Oh, you can't have multiple materials. Can't Wait. Uh. Well, no. This is just a fucking shader, and shaders don't. Because it looks like oh, there, no, it I is over it there. Yeah. Let me see some. Yeah. You just have good. to just put the texture there, and it'll be fine. In theory. It does look laggy though when you do it. It's. Uh, it doesn't update. And the editor only updates when I move my mouse and do certain actions. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't always update. I'm still the Sonic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me try like just one of these. Move it in here. We'll change. The basement we have a shrub 6512. Okay. Yep, 512 is the resolution. Oh, okay. Shrub 6. Uh, this is transparency. Oh, well... It should... They just can't support it, but, um... I don't know if this one does, because he never... It just... 
This one doesn't have like it's a 3D model. Mm, in the well, in the yeah, but uh, let's see. In the material itself is where you make it transparent. Um, okay. Well, I mean, like, see, uh, wait, where the fuck is it? Is there no? There should be a material in here. Hmm. In the ENV bush on his four zero one. So, what's what's shrub six? Underscore twelve five twelve in in the asset view here. What is if you just left click it? Let's see. That's a PNG. Ah, oh, there's no material. Okay, so that's why you're you're attaching a texture, not an image, not a material. So, wait, no, no, do this. So, uh, create a material in this same folder. Uh, yep. Go to material. Name it. Env underscore bush underscore zero one. Isn't that what you already have here? Is that? Oh, is that the material? I thought that was a prefab. Material. Oh, okay, okay. That's what you want to use then. All right. So delete what you just created. That's my bed. I didn't understand what the fuck that was. Mine set up different. So click on that material then in the, the folder. The push one. Okay, and then. Let's see. Oh, those are the settings. Because mm. using voxel tree shader. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think we'd have to modify the shader to allow alpha clipping. Yeah. Um, and you can modify shaders. Like, you can click edit here. And shaders are, I don't when you hit edit, it opens up this. So it is all code based, but there are shaders that have, uh, like, visually it's done. It's Cigarette Man. But, He's got a nice bowl of pasta. I'm supposed to be on this job production till April. Nice. He, he cut like me and eight other guys. Not good. What the fuck? Done. Damn, dude. Yep. We'll have I mean, Wiggly Cubes for it. It's busy right now, so I could get on another production pretty easily, but... You wanna see what Frank's been working on? Yeah, let's see this fucking shit. Alright, Frank, I wanna push this update. Let's test this shit. Oh, we're pushing updates. Pushing oh, the update. Oh, shit. He Check wants to see changes. the He wants to see the push. Multi can work at the same time, or? Yep. We're gonna be doing multiplayer and we get multiplayer working. Oh, nice. Alright. Alright, wait, hold on. I just have more changes. What's going on here? Hold on, sorry. Oh. Uh. uploaded a bunch of tree assets to you. Ugh, I forgot about that. But see that big thing here? We're gonna try to collapse it. On the left. That one has collapsed Whoa. setup. So no, it doesn't. No way. It does, it does, it does, it does. No, 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 no. I don't no, know no, if no. Our, our, our red balls are gonna be enough to do it. I was gonna say, you should probably increase the velocity and turn it into a, a capsule what? collider and make it uh, horizontal like a bullet. You could, um, the size and everything, you can edit on the fly. Shit is lagging bad. What the fuck? I don't know why it's lagging. Maybe my computer just started. Or what the fuck? Oh, yeah. oh, it's still doing something in the bottom right. Oh, wait, what is it doing? Oh, the lighting. Oh, it's compiling the shit, the lighting for you. Uh, okay. Nine seconds. megabytes a second. It's alright. Oh wow. It's a blue. You like that wiggly cube? That's gonna be a nice wiggly cube. To get in the actual game, it's wow. cubes wiggle. Wow. I gotta brush my teeth here, Vic. Brush your teeth. I'll have to see how to make it. I mean, I'm sure it's a tutorial. I'm sure it's a, there's a tutorial uh, 
online about how to make leaves and trees move via shaders. It's a common request. Because you do not want to make them wave in the wind with fucking physics or uh, CPU calculation. Oh, you tired boy. I'm so tired. Bry is back. In the start. Got, oh, did you already? No, you gotta, you gotta load in shit. Oh, oh, oh. Might as well, because it might take a minute. Holy shit, look at that go. Like, 1.3 gigs right there. This is why I have two extra hard drives, because... Yeah. We uh, quickly eats up everything. All right. You want to host it up? All right, cool. Oops. Lobby menu, right? Yeah, lobby menu, yeah. Yeah, get to the lobby. Want me to join you? Oh, you can host it up. I'll join you. I click that button twice. <laughs> Given lobby name. Oh well. Fine. Lobby name, lobby, lobby name. I gotta fix that damn spawn. I don't know how to make it so it spawns you somewhere yet. I gotta figure that out. Oh, I keep loading the wrong damn scene. God damn it. I'm at like 30 FPS right now. Yeah, what the hell's happening to you? So are you Unity or something? It's like a memory leak? Oh, uh, it could be a memory leak. True. Look at that. It's 20 FPS, dude. That ain't right. Yeah, let me restart my That's Unity. Definitely not right. See what I get. This region is US Central One. Uh, well, hold up. Now I'm getting like 20 FPS. Hmm. Got yeah, fuck. Uh oh, too many physics thingies in the wall. Thinking. Oh, I see what it is. Oh. Oh, I see what it is. Oh, is that too it's heavy? This thing I added. You think those are too heavy then? Um, uh, it's just I imported it in a way that I shouldn't have. Oh. It's a chupacabra. Yeah, but the whole Ch thing about it though, actually, <laughs> wow. it, that frame rate gets better. All right, now I want to see a giant gnome smashing that thing. Let's go. Yeah, make an entire game right quick, real quick. Let's see what happens if I uh, eat it. Game. You have 600 FPS. <laughs> that screen, yeah, but in here, I think because it's having destruction physics happen over here. Object, and this one is, is heavier. I want to see what happens if I delete it really quick. Uh, still in the 20s. <laughs> Disable it. Could it be these? That would make me sad. Let me test. Yeah. That would be very unfortunate. You shouldn't though. I mean, I have a whole house. Well, I guess because we only did a couple walls. I've done them all before. I'm not getting that issue, so I'm not sure. Tool to see what's going on, but or I could just be lazy and do this. Could look at the graph as well, the performance graph. X, those walls are definitely hurting. No, damn. Uh, yeah, yep. I thought something maybe something got fucked up with them. I had more than this before, it was just fine. Is it because there's some tiny little pieces or something, or are they because the way they're named?
Yeah, it's yeah. CPU, it's not even rendering. So there's something with... Is it like the physics are active, but they're not at the same time? I don't know. Already broken down. This is, yeah, that makes it actually more efficient. And I can play method. Oh, you know what? Editor setup. Heavy impact though already. I was way heavier than I was expecting for just a few fucking wolves. Yeah, that is something I'm <laughs> right about this a lot. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's right. That's not. Uh, you duplicate on, inside of every wall. Something I did is not right. There. This is supposed to have a. Yeah, this is a. Oh. Oh. Brian, I want you to play the Thief games right now. Play Thief 1. No. Thief 1. Dominion 6. Unreal. He's playing on he's playing Dominion 6 still. Yeah, it's fucking good. I want you to put 700 hours in. Make a YouTube channel for and everything. Good, I'm gonna good. throw myself over roof first. Whoa. Tell your captain that you're gonna play Dominion 6. I, can't, I don't have a captain. I'm no longer on that job. Unreal. Uh, it's everybody in the unit. Oh, yeah. The great captain. He's great, man. He's the best. He's the best. He's the best. Let me tell you, the greatest to work for. Why did he throw you off? But, Listen, because they're at the stage, right? So, this happens all the time. I've been on jobs where we go to the stage, the captains find something for you to do. The hall gave me a fucking job. It tells me I'm working till April. Why are you company loose because they're at the stage? Find something for me to do. Yeah. There's a million fucking things to, for, for people to do. There we go. Not good. Sorry, dude, that does. It's on shit. 154, I want to weigh more. It's from 20 yeah, to 160. I had to correctly. Oh, okay, yeah, thank God. That's a lot more. That's usually what I was getting before, around 160, 180. And then, um, okay. And then there's also ways to optimize even further, which... So we can do is have these all set... All be there, but set up... Well, it's a pain in the ass right now, but if I come through all these, like, things here, these components... Mm -hmm. Right, well, there's this very far rigid route, and it sets it up at start, but I can do it by method. What this means is that the physics don't even consider enabling until we tell it to. Mm. And so what that does is we can have like when a bullet lands and it gets, you know, go as it travels through objects, it could de detect this. And my guess is is that this would get a lot more optimized. I'm gonna test that really quick out of curiosity. Hmm. And uh, I would think that'd be even heavier, because now now it has to initialize and calculate the physics on it's impact. It's initialized, but it doesn't. Need, it's not constantly looking for a, an impact. Oh. It's, it's kind of like the opposite. That's, that stud isn't. Even... But let's see. That may not do shit. So. So what would you do? Put a box collider in it and. Yeah, we already have know. a trigger on the bullets, and it just would be like as it goes through things, because it already calculates that anyway. As it goes through it, you just would oh, add okay. an extra line of code to like initialize destruction, and then it's, it says it's passing through shit. Because we already limit it like everything, because we don't want it to be like physics, but you know, running into it creates a, a break. So yeah. we want to control what actually breaks walls, or not. 
And that's just probably the better way to go about it. Let me and now he's ready for testing. Brian wants to see test. What this? I gotta. Yeah, I don't know what's going on anymore. He's very confused. He's lost. He's depressed. Yeah, see, that's. Yeah, see, that's... Look at that. Way better. Wow, holy fuck. But, yeah, like literally double the FPS yeah. now. But these won't break right now. We play right oh, now. Oh, I'm tracking. I'd have to add. Yeah, I understand. Like but but you were right. That, that just those walls alone gave you fucking literally double FPS. So oh, and then they're practically doing nothing else. So that's there are ways to use it correctly. I'm just not using it correctly. But for testing purposes, we'll just do a few. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. Show sure, Brian. Let's just turn this back down. Start. We'll we'll get like a house done and like I'll set it as optimized as I can. And then... Yeah. yeah. And go from there, and then make the next ha few houses based on that. Yeah. Next house I'll make will be a two-story, then a three-story, and then there you go. And then we can make make actual like military buildings yeah. and shit, whatever. Yeah. Which some buildings, like military buildings, use steel beams and shit. So like that's like a whole other thing, but. Probably wouldn't even make them destructible, to be honest. Jet fueled on melt steel beams? Um, they do if the government tells you they do. Okay. Yep. Oops, not save as. We'll save that. This changes. Alright, checking them in from. Check, check, checking them in. Yay! Host her up. All right, dude. I'm gonna host it up. Here we go. Brian, you gotta see this. Wait till you see this. I, I thought you why? Small shoe. Wow. Is that, is that the, me? That's his name. You gotta change your game from free aspect to your actual screen ratio. Oh. Best UI ever. Look, best region is U.S. Central One. Here you go. When? Yeah, but look at that. Look at that blue cube. I see your your Tunkman game. Tunkman. Oh shit. It's wiggly. Just eating it. Hey, this this doesn't have destruction. It's just there uh, to some shit. Yeah. There oh, you are. Nice. Uh, well, there I am. I think, yeah, there you are. Shooting broke. Uh-oh. You know what? I think I overwrote. No, I Oh. I think we overwrote something. Uh-oh. You broke it. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't see your, your character was, is not moving. Something. Something broke. Hold on. Shit! But you can show them the destruction and all that in your game. It's fine. <laughs> Brian, look at these great trees. These trees are so good. Hawk made those trees. <laughs> I made them. I mean, it's a good aesthetic for the medieval game, but for the armor game, I don't know. I think it is. Come to walls. Well, this is the house Frank built. They just look at interiors and all that. There's an interior designer now. Yeah. Look at these walls. Bam. Yeah, that's cool. Wait, is that? Let's fire a shoot a bullet through this wall. Yeah, yeah, like it, it doesn't stop at all right now. Yeah, the bullet just keeps going. Wait, that one's not breaking. Oh yeah, this is just falling too low. Yeah, it's great. Do you want to change the size and everything? I think it should work, but you have to click on your character and you can edit the options for it. Actually, I don't think I passed that over. When they hit the wall, do they like lose velocity or something? Not right now, no. They just literally pass through it. They're like falling really low. You gotta up the velocity, yeah. Uh... Just 
slaps big building. Big. Yeah, go hit that with boot. your big red balls. I show, gotta show Brian that. Hey. Get rid of the all the supporting connections to the ground. Oh, the whole thing will fall? Yep. A more there on the ground there, yeah. But this doesn't seem like the same graphics as the other stuff. No, no, this is a test model. Oh, okay. I think it's the middle part there. It's the oh. oh, did it break? I broke it. I broke it. <laughs> Good work. You broke it. I broke it. Brian's not impressed? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, oh, it's, there it's already better than the mod he worked on for 10 years, so... You don't mean it. I actually do mean it. to do that. That's Come a good here. point. I didn't even think of that. There it is. It's working in Small progress. Shoe. It's working. Small shoe. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, they, they shrink as they go. I just realized they spawn in really big and then they shrink down to the right size. Kind of hard to catch. It's like a frame. <laughs> That's so stupid. Yeah, the, the jib. Like, I don't see this. Wait, I see this broken. Mm. Did you destroy? It's I, just, I destroyed the thing, yeah. It's still, it's still yeah, like, yeah. rubbled. Completely all. Oh, so it's not jit at all, okay. Yeah, this is not joint of progress, so... I mean, how would you do that, but... Make it joint of progress, um... It's gonna have to be, like, uh... That's something I'm worried about way later. But that's something you'd have to essentially do every time something gets destroyed, it saves. You just have to talk to the server and sync it. And you would just have to delete the parts that were gone from the house. Actually. Mm, yeah. I have to go back there and delete all those parts. Anyways, I can't keep my eyes open anymore, so. Bedtime. Fucking bloodshot. Go to sleep, I assume. You guys got multiplayer Rock working and shit? Yeah, it's working. Right yep, yep, yep. Rock needs to go to bed. Alright, guys, later. Later. And I'm getting. Yep. I'm gonna have to make it so these are uh, by method or something, because it's not good performance for that. My FPS is from 70 to 120. It's better. Yeah, I'm at, you're actually better than me right now. I'm like at 70 to 80 right now. Um, so. When I'm looking towards the hill, I'm getting like 125. Oh, me too. Okay, there it goes. Yeah. I think it's because of rendering. Well, it's also trying to render all these physics objects in the pile over yeah, in the rubble. Yeah, these, these are like calculating. So that's what happens when you don't delete the rubble, is it fucking does hit performance a lot. And it, they yeah. still have physics, so that's also the issue. I don't see the rubble on my screen, so I'm just running. That's funny how it's uh -huh. colliding with me. Okay, wow. Oh yeah. But I don't see nothing in line. Huh. All right. Sleepy time front. Chat with my my brother anyway. Okie dokie. Good work though. We got good progress for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna stop streaming and I'm hop off. Okie dokie. Have a good night there, dude. Good night. <laughs> 
Can I ask her if you're still there? Sleepy time. 